Today we're going to talk about neutrophil extravasation and diapedesis. Now what is this? Well, we're simply bringing neutrophils from the blood vessel where they're floating around in the blood vessel and we're going to bring it into the tissue of uh, uh, to our target tissue. The target tissue is going to be tissue that has been injured. So it'll have inflammation products, it'll have bacterial products possibly, and we want to bring some phagocytic cells such as a neutrophil to help come in and clean up, uh, clean up the area. So how do we do that? We have these neutrophils that are circulating in the blood. Now we have an acute injury. Uh, this, this process typically occurs within hours to uh, you know, like three, four, five hours, anywhere up to a day or so. Uh, so this, th this process occurs uh, hours after the injury. And our goal is to get phagocytic cells. So phagocytic cells into the area uh, of, of note. So they need to go from the circulating blood through this endothelial layer of the blood vessel to the site. Okay, so let's talk about the different ways. We have, we have neutrophil rolling. We have neutrophil binding. We've got extravasation, I'll call it the diapedesis. And then we've got the chemotaxis. So these are the different processes that we're going to cover in this video. So let's, uh, let's start with neutrophil rolling. So we've got a whole bunch of neutrophils that are freely floating in the blood. They're going at the speed of blood. They're not interacting really with the endothelial layer. They're content. However, next we're going to have neutrophil rolling. Neutrophil rolling. You know what this is? Is we're simply going to make the neutrophil roll along the endothelial lining. And when you're rolling against that lining, you're still moving, you're still rolling, however, it'll slow it down. And our goal is to slow it down enough so we can get a nice tight bond at the site of injury, and then it can squeeze its way uh, through the endothelium into the tissue. So let's, let's talk about this. You have histamine. Histamine is gonna be produced by the mast cells. This is gonna cause the endothelium to put P-selectin on, on the uh, endothelial surface. So P-selectin. P-selectin is going to be your initial uh, marker. Then you're going to uh, also upregulate the E-selectin. So your selectins, your P and E-selectins are going to be your main ones um, on the endothelial surface. Now, so that's with the endothelial surface. Next, we'll have the neutrophil. Let's talk about what's on the neutrophil. Well, you're going to have a P selectin ligand. This P selective ligand is going to bind that P selectin or E selectin uh, kind of interchangeably, and then it causes this neutrophil to roll. Now, I also want to point out uh, that you have that you first need. Well, first you have Sial Lewis X. So, Sial Lewis X. So, Sial Lewis X. And this is going to bind this P selectin ligand. So, it binds P selectin ligand 1. And I guess this should be ligand 1. And this. Uh, this is going to allow the neutrophil ultimately to bind this P into E selectin. So you need you need P selective ligand it needs to bind to Sial X Lewis Lewis X, and then that'll bind to the E and the P selectins. Okay, so now we've got a neutrophil that's rolling along, and rolling. I want you to think selectins, and I want you to think. P and E selectins, and then also the, the corresponding ligand. Okay, so that's rolling. Now let's talk about binding. So we have a neutrophil that's slowed down. Well, what good is that if we can't bind? So now we're going to talk about ICAM, and specifically it's ICAM1. So ICAM1 is now going to be expressed on the endothelium. Endo 
Okay, and we've got ICAM-1. Uh, what are the neutrophils going to bring to the party? They're going to bring LFA-1. They're going to bring LFA-1, so the neutrophils. This is also going to be called uh, Integrin. So LFA-1, Integrin, uh, interchangeable. Remember that ICAM, I'm going to highlight some stuff, ICAM on the endothelium, and this Integrin, these are going to bind. It's going to be a very high affinity. They're going to have very high affinity. It's going to cause the neutrophil to stop. It's going to bind. It's going to have a really strong binding. So this ICAM Integrin bind is going to cause the neutrophil to stop. It's not going to be rolling along anymore, and hopefully it'll stop at the site of injury. Now that we're stopped, we need to get from the endothelium, so in the blood, and we've got this neutrophil, now we need to get out into the tissue somehow. So we're going to have diapedesis. And the process of diapedesis is going to rely uh, on a passport-like stage. You're going to need a passport to get across the border. And the border is going to be the endothelium. What's this passport going to be? It's going to be CD31. And this is also going to be called PECAM1. Oops, parentheses in a quotation. We'll do parentheses. So CD31. So CD31 is going to be expressed uh, by the endothelium, and it will be expressed by the neutrophil. So initially, we've got free neutrophils floating through the blood. Then it's going to start rolling due to the process of P-selectin, which gets put on the endothelium by histamine release from those mast cells, because you'll get histamine release at sites of tissue injury due to the inflammation. So you'll get these P-selectins and the E-selectins as well. So the selectins and the selectin ligand is going to cause the neutrophil to roll. Now we're rolling along this endothelial lining. We're going to create a strong bind with the LFA from the neutrophil, uh, also known as Integrin. And then we're also going to have ICAM uh, expressed on the endothelium. It's going to cause this neutrophil to stop. So now we're stopped. This is expressing CD31. CD31, the passport checks out. So their PECAM checks out. They are now going to squeeze through, they're going to extravasate through uh, the intracellular junctions. So you're going to have an endothelial cell, an endothelial cell, this neutrophil is going to squeeze between that, uh, that intracellular junction. All right, so now we've got a neutrophil in the uh, tissue site. So let's draw it again. Here's our neutrophil now. We made it out of the blood vessel. Now we're into the target tissue. We're going to need a process called chemotaxis. We're going to use chemokines to taxi our neutrophil around. And what can these be? Well, these be little particles, these little either bacterial products or cytokines or factors. And what it's going to do is it's going to kind of act as a roadmap for our neutrophil. The closer it is to the site of injury, the more of these uh, little roadmap indicators it'll be. So maybe over here you'll just have like one or two and your neutrophil says, huh, I think this is the direction I need to go. Eventually you'll get close and it's saying, oh yeah, I'm on to the, I'm on to the right stuff. It's going to be eating up uh, all this dead tissue, all this bacterial products, uh, components, bacteria, etc. So extracellular bacteria stuff, pretty much. What are some of the different chemotactic uh, factors that we have? C5A is going to be a big one. Uh, I would star that if I were you. Also, chemokines in general, chemokines, chemotaxis, chemokines, uh, bacterial products, another big uh, big one, and then also interleukin-8, and also there's some other stuff, some minor stuff. I would know C5A. Uh, that is, that is going to be your high-yield chemotactic factor. So we went through the process of how neutrophils go normally in the blood. They start interacting with the endothelium, they make their way through, and eventually they'll find their way to the target tissue. Hopefully this video made sense, hopefully you learned something, hopefully uh, you're now able to understand 
the, the terminology and the function that's going on. If you enjoyed this video, please click like. I always, uh, I always enjoy getting likes on my video, but I also enjoy reading comments. You guys have great comments on YouTube, so bring it on. Uh, otherwise, thank you very much for your time, and have a good day.